Hello. In this lesson, I will show you how to release an RFQ. So let's begin by navigating the tab menu. Go first to logistics. Go to materials management. Click on purchasing. Click on RFQ slash quotation. Go to request for quotation. For this lesson, I will use transaction ME45 release. So let's go ahead and double click on it. The initial screen release approved purchasing document is displayed. The initial screen allows the user to enter data to release an RFQ based on the information provided or entered. Release code, release group, release strategy. The release code is the code that has been set for a manager, supervisor, or other position in the company. The release code is tied with a release group. Let's go ahead first and click on the release code search icon and select the first entry. The release group contains a number of uh, strategies that are specified or defined in configuration. The characteristic can be defined to allow ranges of values for the RFQ. Set release or cancel release. These indicators can be set to allow the purchaser to release the RFQs or to cancel the release. Release prerequisite fulfilled. This indicator, uh, if it's checked, allows the user to view only uh, those RFQs that are ready to be released. So if the indicator is not checked or set, so all RFQs are released. The next uh, option is list with items. So if this indicator is checked, then the RFQ will be shown with all uh, line item information. So if the indicator is not set, then only the header information for this particular RFQ is shown. Scope of list. This indicator or this field is um, a variable that shows different information and that is based on the uh, selected values. Usually the default value for this field is ANFR uh, which is in this case uh, is for RFQ with a collective number. Let's go ahead and click on the search icon you know they said RFQ with collective number that's the default value so let's just keep it as ANFR the next field is purchasing document category the purchasing document category uh, for RFQ is this the single character A so if I go ahead and click on the search I can hear you have A for request for quotation, F for purchase order, K for contracts, and L for schedule agreement, scheduling agreement. So we're going to keep it as request for quotation. So we just go ahead and double click. Um, other selection criteria, like a number of other selection criteria fields, can be further narrowed down the search for RFQs to be released in transaction ME45. These criteria include um, purchasing organization, uh, document number, the vendor, purchasing group, document date, and so on and so forth. Let me go back and select the document number and enter the request for quotation that ends with 1116 and the one ends with 1117 after entering the 
request for quotation numbers we can go ahead now and release those two requests for quotations before issuance to the vendor so let's go ahead and click on the execute after the request for quotation has been released for sending to a number of vendors the RFQ has to be issued to those vendors so in the next lesson I will talk about how to issue a request or request for quotation to a vendor let's go ahead now and exit this screen by clicking on the back icon you have just learned how to release a request for quotation using transaction ME45 let's go ahead now and review the quiz questions that comes with this lesson and if you have any problem or you get stuck somewhere please go back and review the material one more time 